El proceso de certificación es fundamental para las clínicas de reproducción asistida y una de las personas que se dedica precisamente a esto a nivel mundial es el doctor Jürgen Lieberman, a quien es un honor para nosotros dar la más cordial bienvenida en Cuide su Salud. Doctor Lieberman, thank you very much for this interview. Thank you. Why is it? Thank you. Why is it so important to have this certification for the FIV procedures? Uh, IVF in an IVF laboratory contains many steps. Many single steps, they have to be uh, done very precisely. And besides uh, many steps, you have also mostly more than one person working in this laboratory. So you have to make sure that all these people, different people, doing the same uh, regardless what procedure we're talking about. Is it ICSI? Is it uh, conventional in vitro fertilization? Is this how you load an embryo in an embryo transfer catheter? And so on. Also, how you uh, create embryo and assess embryo quality. And a certification of a laboratory is looking exactly at these many different steps. Every certified lab usually has a procedure manual where every single step is written down and every member of the laboratory have to follow this procedure manual. If you do so, you guarantee a chain of custody, you guarantee a quality of your work, and you guarantee a, a good outcome in terms of pregnancy in your patients. How is ICSI done? ICSI is uh, usually considered for low sperm count for male infertility. It was developed in 1992. Uh, it, uh, contains a couple of steps, but the main purpose is to inject one single sperm in one oocyte. So in contrast to a conventional IVF where you insem an uh, oocyte with uh, 100,000 of sperms, you just take one single sperm, you use a glass needle and you bring this sperm in uh, by using this glass needle in the oocyte. When do you recommend to do a biopsy of the embryo and how is it performed? A biopsy usually is recommended for uh, women at advanced age, with women in women uh, age older than 35, 37, uh, because uh, based on many scientific studies, we know that the oocyte quality of these patients suffers in terms of high rate of aneuploidy. These oocytes of these patients are usually to high degree abnormal. And uh, if you work with abnormal oocytes, you also get abnormal embryos. And the result of this is that many patients in an advanced age have a high miscarriage rate because of the abnormality of this embryo. They are able to successful to implant, but then after six, seven or eight weeks get uh, discharged. And uh, the biopsy itself allows to look at this embryo, to look at uh, the genome of this embryo, before you transfer the embryo, and you get the results, they tell you this embryo is genetically abnormal or it's normal, and based on the results you receive from this uh, uh, laboratory, you, you pick the best embryos, they show anoploidy, uh, normality only, to make sure these embryos implant and achieve a healthy life birth. Dr. Lieberman, and nowadays, what kind of tests can be done on this cell? Uh, uh, the most common uh, is pre implantation diagnostic screening or diagnosis uh, where you take uh, one blastomere out uh, on day three or five to six cells on day five at uh, the stage of the blastocyst. And then you can now look by using a special technique called microarray. You can look at all the chromosomes of the human genome. That's usually 23 chromosomes plus the sex chromosomes. Dr. Lieberman, thank you very much for this interview. Thank you.